Praise the Lord. According to one in our reading plan, day 285, we have Zechariah chapter 11 to 14. Zechariah chapter 11. Open your doors, Lebanon, so that fire can burn down your cedar trees. Weep and wail, cypress trees. The cedars have fallen, those glorious trees have been destroyed. Weep and wail, oaks of Bashan. The dense forest has been cut down. The rulers cry out in grief. Their glory is gone. Listen to the roaring of the lions. Their forest home along the Jordan is destroyed. The Lord my God said to me, Add the part of the shepherd of a flock of his sheep that are going to be butchered. Their owners kill them and go unpunished. They sell the meat and say, Praise the Lord, we are rich. Even their own shepherds have no pity on them. The Lord said, I will no longer pity anyone on earth. I myself will put all the people in power of their rulers. These rulers will devastate the earth and I will not save it from their power. Those who bought and sold the sheep hired me and I became the shepherd of the people that were going to be butchered. I took two sticks, one I called favor, the other I called unity, and I took care of the flock. I lost patience with three other shepherds who hated me and I got rid of them all in a single month. Then I said to the flock, I will not be your shepherd any longer. Let those die who are to die. Let those be destroyed who are to be destroyed. Those who are left will destroy one another. Then I took the stick called favor and broke it to cancel the covenant which the Lord had made with all the nations. So the covenant was concealed on that day. Those who bought and sold the sheep were watching me and they knew that the Lord was speaking through what I did. I said to them, if you are willing, give my wages. If not, keep them. So they paid me 30 pieces of silver as my wages. The Lord said to me, put them in the temple treasury. So I took the 30 pieces of silver, the magnificent sum they thought I was worth, and put them in the temple treasury. Then I broke the second stick, the one called unity, and the unity of Judah and Israel was shattered. And then the Lord said to me, Once again act like the power of a shepherd, this time a worthless one. I have put a shepherd in charge of my flock, but he does not help the sheep that are threatened by destruction. Nor does he look for the lost, or heal those that are hurt, or feed the healthy. Instead, he eats the meat of the fattest sheep and tears off his hooves. That worthless shepherd is doomed. He has abandoned his flock. War will totally destroy his power. His arm will wither and his right eye will go blind. Zechariah chapter 12 This is a message about Israel from the Lord, the Lord who spread out the skies created the earth and gave life to man. He says, I will make Jerusalem like a cup of wine. The nations around her will drink and stagger like drunks. And when they besiege Jerusalem, the cities of the rest of the Judah will also be besieged. But when that time comes, I will make Jerusalem like a heavy stone. Any nation that tries to lift it will be hurt. All the nations of the world will join forces to attack her. At that time, I will terrify all their houses and make all their riders go crazy. I will watch over the people of Judah, but I will make the horses of their enemies blind. Then the clans of Judah will say to themselves, The Lord God Almighty gives strength to his people who live in Jerusalem. At that time, I will make the clans of Judah like a fire in a forest or in a field of a ripe grain. They will destroy all the surrounding nations. The people of Jerusalem will remain safe in the city. I, the Lord, will give victory to the armies of Judah first, so that the honor which the descendants of David and the people of Jerusalem will receive will be no greater than that of the rest of Judah. At that time, the Lord will protect those who live in Jerusalem, and even the weakest among them will become as strong as David was. The descendants of David will lead them like the angel of the Lord, like God himself. At that time, I will destroy every nation that tries to attack Jerusalem. I will find the descendants of David and the other people of Jerusalem with the spirit of mercy and the spirit of prayer. They will look at one whom they stabbed to death and they will mourn for him like those who mourn for an only child. They will mourn bitterly like those who have lost their firstborn son. At that time, the mourning in Jerusalem will be as great as the mourning 
for Hadad, Ramon, in the plain of Megiddo. Each family in the land will mourn by itself. The family of descended from David. The family descended from Nathan. The family descended from Levi. The family descended from Shimei. And all the other families. Each family will mourn by itself. And the men of each family will mourn separately from the women. Zechariah chapter 13 When that time comes, seeks the Lord Almighty, a fountain will be opened to purify the descendants of David and the people of Jerusalem from their sin and idolatry. At that time, I will remove the names of the idols from the land, and no one will remember them any more. I will get rid of anyone who claims to be a prophet and will take away their desire to worship idols. Then, if anyone still insists on prophesying, his own father and mother will tell him that he must be put to death because he claimed to speak the words Lord, but spoke lies instead. When he prophesies, his own father and mother will stab him to death. When that time comes, no prophet will be proud of his visions or act like a prophet or wear a prophet's coarse garments in order to deceive people. Instead, he will say, I am not a prophet, I am a farmer. I have farmed the land all my life. Then if someone asks him, what are those wounds on your chest? He will answer, I got them at a friend's house. The Lord Almighty says, Wake up, sword, and attack the shepherd who works for me. Kill him, and the sheep will be scattered. I will attack my people, and throughout the land, two-thirds of the people will die. And I will test the third that survives, and will purify them as silver is purified by fire. I will test them as gold is tested. Then they will pray to me. And I will answer them. I will tell them that they are my people and that they will confess that I am their God. Zechariah chapter 14 The day when the Lord will sit in judgment is near. Then Jerusalem will be looted and the loot will be divided before your eyes. The Lord will bring all the nations together to make war of Jerusalem. The city will be taken, the houses looted and the women raped. Half of the people will go into exile, but the rest of them will not be taken away from the city. Then the Lord will go out and fight against those nations, as he has fought in times past. At that time he will stand on Mount of Olives to the east of Jerusalem. Then the Mount of Olives will be split in two from east to west by a large valley. Half of the mountain will move northward and half of it southward. You will escape through this valley that divides the mountain in two. You will flee as your ancestors did when the earthquake stuck in the time of King Isaiah of Judah. The Lord my God will come, bringing all the angels with him. When that time comes, there will be no longer be cold or frost, nor any darkness. There will always be daylight even at night time. When this will happen is known only to the Lord. When that day comes, fresh water will flow from Jerusalem, half of it to the Dead Sea and the other half to the Mediterranean. It will flow all year long, in a dry season as well as the wet. Then the Lord will be king over all the earth. Everyone will worship him as God and know him by same name. The whole region from Geba to the north to Rimon in the south will be made level. Jerusalem will tower above the land around it. The city will reach from Benjamin Gate to the Corner Gate, where there had been an earlier gate from the Tower of Hananiel to the royal wine presses. The people will live there in safety, no longer threatened by destruction. The Lord will bring a terrible disease on all the nations that make war on Jerusalem. Their flesh will rot away while they are still alive. Their eyes and their tongues will rot away. At that time, the Lord will make them so confused and afraid that everyone will seize the man next to him and attack him. The men of Judah will fight to defend Jerusalem. They will take as a loot the wealth of all the nations, gold, silver, clothing in great abundance. A terrible disease will also fall on the horses, the mules, the camels and the donkeys. On all the animals in the campus of the enemy, then all of the survivors from the nations that have attacked Jerusalem will go there each year to worship the Lord Almighty, as king and to celebrate the festival of shelters. If any nation refuses to go and worship the Lord Almighty as king, 
Then rain will not fall on their land. If the Egyptians refuse to celebrate the festival of shelters, then they will be struck by the same disease that the Lord will send on every nation that refuses to go. This will be the punishment that will fall on Egypt and on all the other nations that do not celebrate the festival of shelters. At that time, even the harness bells of the horses will be inscribed with the words dedicated to the Lord. The cooking pots in the temple will be as sacred as the bowls before the altar. Every cooking pot in Jerusalem and all in Judah will be set apart for use in the worship of the Lord Almighty. The people who offer sacrifices will use them for boiling the meat of the sacrifices. When that time comes, there will be no longer any merchant in the temple of the Lord Almighty. May the Lord bless us abundantly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.